All right, World of Wonder, welcome to the Paradigm Testing Zone. So today we are going to officially test the Paradigm family of drivers. We have Paradigm, Paradigm X, and the tour favorite, the Triple Diamond. We got Foresight here. We got a box of golf balls. We're gonna make a bunch of swings. Excited to dig into these. It's the World of Wonder, Paradigm Testing Time. Here we go. Okay. The day is here, it's time to test these things. We're gonna start with Paradigm, which is, uh, you know, it's gonna fit the most golfers. We say that a lot about the Paradigm line, the Paradigm specific ones. They are going to be your fastball down the middle, your cheeseburger, your apple pie, the ones that everybody is going to like or fit into. So let's start, I got it in neutral, neutral standard. I got the weight in the back, gotta love that. It's one of the features, it's got a 15 gram weight in the back. You can move it to make it draw, make it fade. Uh, plenty of adjustability there, and I have a Ventus Blue 6X, just like I do in my Gamer, uh, just to see. Looks really awesome, I'll say that. I'm loving the shape of the, uh, of the Paradigm heads. One sixty-three ball speed, two eighty-one carry at twenty-six hundred spin. It's pretty good. That is pretty good. It's actually kind of interesting, considering where I hit that on the face. So I hit that kind of, we'll call it high center toe. Typically for me, that shot's going to dip pretty low and spin when I hit it like that. And this one kind of held its spin pretty well. That could be the weight in the back. The other thing to consider is the AI face and the AI design jailbreak technology. The reason why they do all that is obviously it's for spin robustness across the face and ball speed and forgiveness and all that stuff, but it's also downrange dispersion. One of the interesting things about what they've done with AI is they've created a lot of stability in the last hundred yards of a ball's flight, which I find, uh, I don't even know how they think of this stuff. That was pounded. There we go. 164 ball speed, 288 carry at 2400 spin. That's pretty good. Tell you what, folks, this point in the game for me, if I'm in the mid 160s ball speed and carrying at 280, like, okay, we're cool. Let's hit one more with Paradigm. I'll hit two more. Let's see if we can turn one over. Pretty good. A little toey. 163 ball speed, 278 carry. Now I hit that out of the toe and it turned over. It still spun at 2400. I love that. I don't want my, I do not want my draws dipping below the bare bone minimum 2300. Like I can't stand those right to left shots that dip below 2000 because you can't control them. They're very, very hard to repeat. Every once in a while you get one, you start it online and it goes out there forever but one shot ain't worth uh, an out of bounds or a ball I can't control. Sorry, it's just not. Let's hit one more. I'm gonna try and Let's see what happens when I really go after one. That was pounded. 166 ball speed, 292 carry at 2734 spin. Dead straight, high. Launched at 15.2. Okay, let's go to Paradigm X. Now this one, you're gonna hear slightly draw biased. This is not like the Rogue ST Max D. It's slightly draw biased. The Max D was draw biased. It's just a high MOI, super stable, high launching driver. So I'm assuming this one's gonna launch a little bit higher. I don't think it'll spin more. I think if anything, the miss hits will be a slightly better. And maybe this one will be a little bit easier to turn over. Let's see, let's hit a stock shot. That was good. 164 ball speed, 280 carry, 2200 spin, turned over a little bit, 14.7 launch. Kind of tell you guys, give you some insight, it's something pretty interesting when we did our, our driver fittings out at RSM with our Callaway staff. One of the things that all the players, and they had all the heads, they tried everything. The one thing that everybody kind of noticed was downrange dispersion, how tight the lumping of golf balls was on the, on the uh, launch data, got tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter. One of the cool things about the Paradigm X head was on miss hits, that dispersion stayed really, really tight, uh, which is basically this technology doing its job. Let's 
A little bit skinny, a little bit out of the toe, 160 ball speed, 277 carry at 2409 spin. Okay, you know, from going to apples to apples with Paradigm, this one's launching about a degree and a half higher. That was good there. 16.5 launch, 166 ball speed at 287 carry at 2350 spin. But it's launching high. I mean, if you, I mean, you guys will see it on the tracer. I mean, the ball's going straight up in the air. So, not to say I couldn't adjust, take the loft down and play with that a little bit to bring the ball flight down. But just in its stock setting, it's a high launching, super forgiving driver. That's what this one is. Now let's go to, can't bury the lead. We've got a triple diamond driver floating around in here. So cool story about these. I was at ROM's testing, I was at Xander's testing. Almost word for word, they all set it down and said this is the best looking triple diamond we've ever made. And I believe that it is. Looks like the face sits up a little bit higher. The top line kind of fans out. So it gives you that nice square look at a dress, maybe even slightly open. It's got a little bit more of a compact shape. It's 450 cc's and carbon crown. It just, this thing just looks amazing. All right, triple diamond. First time, come on baby. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, 164 ball speed, 286 carry at 2294 spin. Right out of the gate. We're happy. The worst thing ever would have been if I like built up for so long to hit the triple diamond and it didn't like the first shot wasn't like totally awesome. So we got past that. Okay. That was a little bit out of the toe. I want to see the numbers on this one. 163 ball speed, 279 carry. See the spin on, this is crazy. I hit that way out of the toe and it turned over. 2275 spin. That's like, I don't know how much you guys pay attention to the numbers, but drivers of the past, I hit it out of there with that ball flight. That thing spin at like 1700. No way it's at 2275. Not happening. Hmm, that is pretty impressive. Okay, let's hit a couple more of the triple diamond. Pounded. 167 ball speed. Oh, I love the triple diamond drivers. 292, 2122, 2124 spin. Launched at 13.2. Come on, man. This isn't even dialed for me yet. This is just like me sticking a, sticking a head on a shaft and hitting balls. Like, what does that even mean? Does that mean, like, what am I leaving on the table? Wait till I get this thing fit. Like, my God. Let's hit one more. Let's end this off. We're gonna line this one up. End this video in style. This driver just looks so amazing. One sixty-seven, two ninety-four, twenty-three thirty-nine spin at twelve point nine launch. Okay, let's talk. So we have three heads here. We have your paradigm head, which is your, like I said before, it's going to fit the widest swath of golfers. It's forgiving. It's fast. We'll call it mid-launch, mid-spin pretty neutral center of gravity. It's just a nice, fast, forgiving driver. The 360 degree carbon chassis, the amount of weight that they save, that they can redistribute around the head, like that's kind of unheard of how much weight they're moving around. So what I think they've done with this, with this carbon chassis uh, is pretty incredible. And I think it's kind of our first step uh, in the next four or five years of like perfecting the carbon driver. But I really don't understand how they can make it any better than these ones. Okay, so we have Paradigm, we already discussed that one. Paradigm X, high MOI, high launch. You saw it on the numbers. It launched about two or three degrees higher than Paradigm. Everything else for me was apples to apples. It didn't spin more. Ball speeds were pretty comparable. It's just a little bit more forgiving, a little bit higher MOI. It's got a little bit more weight in the back and it launches a little higher. So who's that for? Higher handicapper, um, somebody just looking for maximum forgiveness and maximum launch. And then you go to like the doctor's tool which is a triple diamond. Now, it's a tour driver, it's responsive, you can turn it, you can cut it, you can do all those things, but ultimately, like, forgiveness-wise, it's not so far off of these other two. It's still really, really stable. 
It's amazing off the face. The downrange dispersion is incredible. So what they've done with AI to dial in this face for downrange dispersion and spin robustness and all that stuff, all that stuff has things that you can now see. The misses and the center, center punch ones were all kind of in a tight little package. I believe that's because of the way that they designed these drivers with a new weight distribution. Um, there's still a lot to dig into. We're still learning more as we go, especially on tour. It's going to be exciting to see the first quarter fitting nuance that we discover. So if you have any more questions, go to CallawayGolf.com, World of Wonder website. It's Johnny Wonder from the Paradigm Testing Zone. We're out of here.